I'm Tiffany, and this is from Momma's Kitchen. This is where I get to share with you the old-fashioned recipes and skills that I learned from my Momma in her kitchen. Today, we're going to be making potato candy. Yes, that's candy with potato in it. It's so good. I actually have several people in my family who make this. Let me let you in on a little secret, though. I've never made it, so I'm going to be trying to make this for the first time today with you. It seems like it should be pretty simple. It's just a few ingredients. It's got potato, and it needs to be a russet style potato, or what my grandparents call arsh potato. Some powdered sugar, and some peanut butter. I'm also going to add just a little bit of salt, and you can add vanilla. I'm not sure if I have any. I meant to get some more. Um, but, if you trace this recipe all the way back to like its earliest days, it was probably a depression era recipe. And most of those people probably wouldn't have had vanilla to put in it in its earliest days. So I think it'll be okay if we make it without the vanilla today. The first thing that I need to do is boil my potato. It doesn't take a whole lot. Just three or four tablespoons of a really good mashed potato. You want it to be nice and mashed. No lumps or clumps in it. So I actually already have my potato peeled and on the stove top boiling in some water. As soon as that gets really soft, I'll just pour the water off and mash it really well, and then we'll go from there. Into my bowl here, I'm going to start with about three tablespoons of that cooked mashed potato. And I'm going to work about three cups of powdered sugar into this. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to look for consistency. You want it to be almost not quite like play-doh but pretty close if that kind of gives you a visual of what you're looking for and here let's just start and let me show you i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of powdered sugar in and i'm gonna start stirring this and let me show you what happens there's a reaction between the starch in the potato and then the sugar and it actually turns liquidy. It's pretty neat, actually. So there's no liquid in here. And so we're just going to keep adding the powdered sugar until it gets to a consistency that's workable. <laughs> at this point i've worked most of the powdered sugar in but you'll see when i turn this out that it's not quite the consistency i want it's still just a little bit loose so i'm going to add some extra powdered sugar on top of some parchment paper you could do this straight on your countertop i just think the parchment paper is a little bit easier to clean up and i'm going to turn this mixture out onto that powdered sugar and the parchment paper and work in a little extra sugar until it's not sticking to my hands and is a consistency that I can roll out. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I sprinkled in a little bit of salt before I turned this out because I forgot to add it earlier. Just a sprinkle. Now I'm putting on some extra powdered sugar and then I'm just gonna knead this with my hands, keeping some powdered sugar on it until it gets to where it's not sticky and I can work with it pretty easy. This is going to be the base of your candy, so you want to make sure that it can hold up. Then once I'm happy with the way this mixture feels, I'm going to pat it out with my hands and then I'll roll it out with my rolling pin to about a quarter of an inch thick. And you want to kind of keep it in a rectangle shape, so if you need to, as you're rolling it out or patting it out, you can kind of use your hands to push the sides in and keep them as straight as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right here is where I'm starting to pat it out with my hands, sprinkling a little powdered sugar on it. You want to make sure you have some powdered sugar underneath as well. It's one of the things that I learned in this process. Make sure you have some powdered sugar underneath so that when you go to roll it, it will not stick to your parchment paper or your countertop, whatever you have it on. I'm 
for the peanut butter you want creamy peanut butter i didn't measure it i'm guessing about a third of a cup for the size roll that i am making uh what you really want though is to just spread it out in an even layer across your potato and sugar mixture all the way to the edges just a nice semi-thin layer if you put too much peanut butter your roll will not hold its shape but you want enough to have a nice peanut butter layer in there you can see here how i'm spreading it all the way to the edges to make sure every piece has peanut butter and then i'm going to start rolling it i'm starting from the long sides you want to roll on the long side of your rectangle and i got this scraper out and just kind of put that under the edge and used it to roll it over. You can also fold your parchment paper up and roll it that way and then peel the parchment paper back, roll it a little bit more and peel the parchment paper back. But this worked really well. If I'd had a little extra powdered sugar under there, it would have been even easier, but we ended up getting it to work just fine. I'm just gonna keep rolling this, roll it all the way from one side to the other. And then I'm gonna put this on a plate and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to let it get really good and cold. You'll see that it sets up pretty stiff so that when you go to cut it, it doesn't just completely mash down to nothing. I try not to get too nervous when I try new things, but when I started to roll this, I'll admit, I got a little nervous, but we ended up getting it to work, didn't we? And into the refrigerator it goes. It's several hours later. This has been sitting in the refrigerator. And now I guess this is where we see how we did. Cutting it in about about half inch slices. looks pretty good to me especially for my first attempt looks like the potato candy that i've seen i guess if i wanted it to be more circular i could put more powdered sugar in this potato and sugar mixture to make it stiffer but this is how i'm used to seeing potato candy so i am absolutely fine with that the real test is how it tastes Do you like potato candy? Let me bring you some. I remember when I was a kid thinking that I didn't like it because I knew it had potato in it. And then as I got older and actually tried it, I realized that I liked it. It's pretty sweet. But really good, especially to be so simple. Not bad for my first attempt. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm going to put this on a plate, keep it in the refrigerator. You can keep it in the refrigerator for... A week or two it's got plenty of sugar in it it's not gonna go bad quick you could really leave it sitting out on the counter for a little while if you wanted to I'm curious do you or someone in your family make potato candy I'd like to know thanks for being in my kitchen today get in the kitchen and make memories with those you love I'll see you in the next one bye y'all